it's not just about numbers and, uh, uh, and equations. Um, it's also about really creating something uh, and preserving something that's, that's very important to the community. This building has been cut up many, many times. Uh, it's had three or four lives. With each life, basically, the building has been dissected in one form or another. Remnants of each one of those lives exist. Buildings are never stagnant. They um, evolve over time. The Dreamland Foundation, first of all, is a group of um, island residents, summer residents, who have taken on the project of bringing back the Dreamland Theater, first and foremost. The theater will come back and uh, be a cinema theater, but will also have the ability to put on stage productions. And um, to supplement that, there's a, there's a wider goal of making the Dreamland more of a community center. So it will provide spaces for the community to gather, for local area nonprofits to use, for functions, for boardrooms. It will house the Dreamland Foundation offices, and uh, it may be kind of an incubator for other um, kind of local nonprofits who can use office space in the building. What I'm hoping to do in my contribution to the building is to make sure that its unique history um, is preserved. I'm an architectural conservator and what I do on historic buildings is I look at the surviving historic building fabric and study the history of the building. The way we do that is to look at the historic documentation that exists for the building photographs, written documentation, uh, maps, and so forth, so that we can see the history of how it has evolved architecturally. We look for uh, paint layering. You can compare layers of paint on different elements, so you can see if they date from the same time. More layers means it's probably an earlier piece. Fewer layers means it's later. We're going to be talking about our preliminary structural investigation of the Dreamland Theater building. Uh, the structure as a whole has been altered in many ways that has uh, rendered some of its integrity uh, questionable. What we've been doing is a documentation process whereby we've been studying the structural framing, uh, the bones if you would, of the building. And our challenge is to restore that integrity uh, without damaging the historic fabric of the building. We're certainly cognizant that there's a lot of local knowledge uh, about this building on the island. We'd like to learn more about it uh, and hear people's input and their ideas for uh, what might be happening. I kind of like older buildings because I like the forensic part of the older buildings to sort of see what was there, what's still remaining, you know, what were the uh, lives of, this, of the buildings like this. This building as it is today basically needs a lot of time to care to meet codes and stuff like that. And the code's a big thing for this, for this building basically. Um, for instance, we know at this point that this building, if you got a very high storm tide, basically this portions of this building would be underwater. In fact, it would go all the way to Main Street. So you can say that the building would get filled and turn into a bathtub. So we've got to look at how you can build this building so that that doesn't happen in the future understanding what is possible to do and what is impossible um, I think needs further study. It's, it's all about the bones of the building. But from what I gather, and I'm not an islander so I wouldn't know this, but there's a lot of people basically that have a, um, a childhood vision of what this building was and it doesn't matter whether they're now 80 or whether they're 40. A lot of people basically went through here as kids growing up, got the popcorn, got the soda, sat in the movies and like I can truthfully say that in my hometown, when I grew up, basically, there was that sort of local theater. Of course, now we got the big malls and everything else with a, with a super thing and everything else. And that doesn't quite meet this criteria of this area. The Dreamland Foundation, um, as you know, active summer residents and philanthropists, most importantly, are looking to um, you know, return this back to the residents of Nantucket for both the summer residents for, for movies, but really for year-round use. And I think that what, that's what really differentiates their program from um, previous attempts to bring back the Dreamland. Um, this is meant to be a building that is used year-round for uh, the public, for nonprofits, for uh, summer residents during all seasons to um, really help supplement the, um, the variety of spaces that are available to people on the island. And, uh, it's a, you know, it's a worthwhile goal. It's, it's, it's as much of a philanthropic goal um, as it is a money-making venture because this is really a not-for-profit um, corporation that's undertaking the, the building. <laughs>